Hey friends, I just thought I'd get on and share with you a little bit about what's been happening over the last few weeks. As some of you will know, we've had a bit of a challenging time with our lovely gallery being crashed into by a car. We've had a few challenges over the last few years. I wanted to not focus on the challenges, but on how we move through in these times and, and how I have, I suppose, um, let you in on a little bit of behind the scenes of my processing. Um, some of you may not know uh, that are watching this that I uh, have a lovely gallery. Um, we teach classes. Uh, part of the building has classes, but the other part is a beautiful gallery uh, on a main street and a car crashed right into the gallery, which means now it's in um, a number of months um, renovation, rebuild, all sorts of things are happening. Um, we're shut basically, um, as you'll see here through some of these pictures. The night before the crash, we had just finished renovating and uh, had a beautiful new blind put in for our front door and we're seating and uh, gabion walls was looking really beautiful. We're so excited. We're going out to buy plants uh, that night and that next morning. Uh, but as you'll see here, the next morning, 3 a.m., it was a different matter. Um, we're working through all the challenges. We have insurance and, yes, we're looking at, um, you know, big roads and all sorts of people to help with protection of the area. So all of that's moving forward. Um, so now we are trying not to focus on, you know, the trauma and the challenge of that, but how do we move forward and decided to open our uh, back rooms we were allowed to open uh, because we have another door at the back we can have classes so we are doing uh, some things but obviously our gallery will not be open for quite some time um, but how do you manage in these crazy times we uh, live a life where things come sideways uh, that was fully fully unexpected um, and you know as i have been trying to work through my own um, shock and trauma and and stress about all of that how do i manage it you know i i am always telling my students and in my courses online and uh, everywhere else that you know creativity can really help in the challenging times so i was moved recently by a friend who very sadly lost her son um, and i was talking to her um, last week and she said that she was painting her son uh, to really help her with her own journey and I went well gosh I'm not dealing with anything that challenging uh, I need to get back to what I practice what I preached so this image was really um, in my mind for quite some time I had imagined um, how it would look with the hands in a certain position and the water and I had a friend Ramak thank you very much a beautiful photographer who um, worked out how to make the image look like I had in my head and we came up with this beautiful piece this photo here as you can see uh, I had another friend pouring the water and we got really wet and it was a lot of fun um, but we came up with this image which I loved um, at the time I was uh, calling it ex uh, extravagant hope um, but over time as I've been painting it I think it's been changed I think I've changed the title of it quite a number of times at the moment. I think it's resilience, maybe. Uh, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see where that goes. So th this painting I've been painting over the last few weeks um, and during this crazy time, and I knew that it would see me through some really powerful moments, which it has already. Who knows what's gonna come? I had this sense that I wanted to celebrate the good things um, to, to have open hands about what was coming at me and as I was journaling one day I realized that there's actually a deeper message for me particularly in this image and that was that I am cared for I am known I am seen um, and I'm a, and I, I am loved uh, and for me my spiritual journey is so deep and so beautiful that I can really feel that that love of a creator of something bigger than me that is encouraging me to create, is encouraging me to not give up in these moments. Um, so that uh, image has changed uh, meaning over the time and again changed meaning uh, since the crash and since some of the challenging things that have come at us. So right now I'm really um, loving getting in and just spending time with this painting because when you do photorealistic painting, it takes you to a space where you have to slow down, you have to think, you have to think about you know how it's all working and you forget about anything else that's going on and it's such a healing helpful thing it's just been so helpful 
And again, just reminding me of why I love teaching, why I love doing what I'm doing. So I just want to encourage you to do something creative with your hands, with your mind. It doesn't have to be painting. It could be sewing or singing or dancing or um, knitting. Something that helps you engage and helps your mind relax. It's so helpful and so healing. Um, and I also wanted to share with you a program that I started actually in COVID uh, to help me, <laughs> but also to help others to focus on, you know, some of the positive things that were happening. Um, it's based on a lot of my paintings and the stories that they go through. It's called Restore Your Creative Soul. And um, I um, put this course out a couple of times a year. So, you know, just keep an eye out for emails or links. I've had some beautiful feedback from those that have been doing the course and Oh, it fills my soul so much to know that people are using these resources to help them through their own challenges. So um, even though it's been a tough few weeks, I really want to encourage you, as I am with anyone that's coming through my courses or classes, to keep using creativity to help you through the challenges and also to focus on um, the amazing and positive things that are happening in your life right now. Um, cheering you on, keep creating, and until next time, uh, have a great week.